but to talk about my prosthetics. Um, I make my own prosthetics so far. Um, all it is is hot glue and tin foil. You just take your hot glue and your tin foil here, and you just go and you make your shape you want. Okay, and then you just take it and just pull on the edges. Until you get the desired look. Um, I find only one layer has you know, one layer minimum really. I mean, it work wonderful, but you can go to like nine layers I suppose I guess because ten is a bit too much. But um, you let it dry until it's you can touch it, but you don't leave prints. Um, but I I'm gonna speed up along because I already made one. And um, you just grab the edge here, just kind of roll it on your finger. Just that's all you gonna see my fingers for right now. Let's see. It pulls right off like a miracle. Um, so maybe some of the little excess lines that come off. And there you go. But what I like about this method is it sticks. <sighs> I forgot I hit the record button earlier. So I have a makeup tutorial already done that I forgot to take off all the way, apparently. Um, anyways, um, so you just take it and you just stick it. You stick it right on there, just plain and simple as that. Um, you can do this method, which I call the quick and dry method because there's nothing to it. Um, but it only works for like quick powderings and such, or stick and done. Um, I just had it, where did it go? Did it really? Ah, it fell again. Okay, I guess. <laughs> um, I did this one a little while back, and this is um, not a quick and dry one. I actually apply this one with my method, which we'll get to in a minute. But I mean, you could paint this one red here, and you know, my uh, pink, I guess, and you know, paint it nice and pretty to where it looks like a real scratch mark, and it go like this, and just. <sighs> Alright, quick and dry, done, get it over with, you know. Um, you could probably taper down the edges a little bit better than I am. But, you know, it's kind of hard to look. I never realized how bad it is to look. Um, sorry, I have hot glue on my screen. Okay, so, um, that's, that's one method. Um, the second method is my glue method. It's my glue stick method. Even though it doesn't involve a glue stick. I prefer liquid glue, because it's, it's easier to smear. Let's go this way. Alright, so we have my miniature bullet hole or spike hole, I guess? I don't know. And you just take any Elmer's glue, any liquid glue works. Um, it doesn't have to be super strength. I mean, anything like that works. And just take it and dab it right on the thing. And it's going to get backward. There we go. And you just take it and... Sh Smear it like that. See? Alright, once it's smeared, turn it and just stick it. Just take another finger and smear the edges just a little bit with a little bit extra glue. You don't have to add it to your finger, it comes probably right off your thing. So, make sure you get the inner side because that inside will come off so easily at times. And there you go, it's stuck. I mean, it doesn't, it's not permanent, um, but I mean, it just, just, just like that, um, this is the one I made a, just a minute ago with you guys, and look at this, I mean, it was three minutes ago, and look at this, I mean, it doesn't take that long, and it's fully dry, I mean, it, the only thing I can do is tear it in half without break, you know, for breaking it wise, and looky there, you got a nose ring, I guess, um, a, a bullet hole? Um, with these, as long as, you know, your imagination is endless, it really is, and that, you're really supposed to let that dry a little bit longer, but I don't have the time for that. I mean, literally, your imagination is infinite. It truly is infinite. Um, uh, that's basically all for this tutorial, I guess, tutorial? Uh, more of an intro for me. But, um, I'm gonna post makeup ideas, or uh, minor makeups. My minor makeups are going to be like teaching you how to do a bruise, or a scratch, or make fake blood or something. Um, others are going to be major makeups, which is going to be like an actual facial thing. It's usually the face, or it'll be an arm, or it's going to like, it'll be a specific character. 
like the crow or a doll maybe. Um, other than that, just that. Um, but then I'm going to also keep my vlog going. Um, the next video is a 50 facts about me. Which we'll get into more depth of that. So stay tuned for my makeup tutorials. And my vlogging tutorials. Um, for those of you watching this, yes, you're brand new. Yes, I'm new. Thank you already. Thank you so much for sticking, I guess, two episodes already. Um, thank you, though. I mean, seriously, thank you. I mean, this is amazing. So, I guess, thanks! Um, I guess we shall apply... We'll do a really quick challenge. How many facial prosthetic pieces can I stick to my face? Let's go. Alright, that's the brand new one we just made. Alright, um, gotta make these little... Gotta think about these first. That one goes like this. We gotta think of how this is gonna go. Oh, this is a lot harder than I thought it would be. Alright. I don't know. I'm gonna run out of... No, 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 no. Okay, that one fell off. Um. Bugger. Got a big one here. No, I didn't left any room for this one. Ow. It's almost like so well. No. No. They're falling off. I can't even open my mouth, really. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, whatever. <laughs> Disaster in less than 30 seconds. Um. Ow, ow, ow. I mean, those are really quick sticks. And quick stick works a lot better than that. There's your new. Now, you're all probably guessing, what is this? Um. It was originally designed. Oh, you can see Reynolds right there. You can't see it on the camera, but I can. Um, was this one was originally supposed to go like this. And I was going to implement a zipper. So I got a zipper face. You know, like that. But this part was too long and this part was too short. See? I was off by my measurements. And I was angry. And right before throwing away, I said, what am I going to do with this? And I kind of turned it you know, like this. And I'm like, oh, I could do it as a neck piece. So let me... I have my necklace in the way. Kind of show you. You kind of get the idea there? Yeah. Kind of neat idea, I know. Um, I don't know what makeup I'm going to use it for yet, but we'll find something. And this one is, uh, this is what I like to call cheap stitches. I mean, if you don't have time to do actual stitching design, you know, these are quick stitches and they, uh, they're three dimensional, so it's Boom! There. And if you turn your head, people will notice some more. But, yeah, that's that. So, I'm going to leave you with that. And I kind of got off topic there for a while. But again, thanks. Remember to hit that like button. Never hit that just like button. I'll get sad. And you don't want to make me sad. Um, subscribe. Leave your comments below. And, um, TTYL.